Hey, hey, YouTube, it's Eternal Prince here, bringing you another little episode. This is going to be our episode based on our farm. So we've got quite a few things that we need to get through. So if you're already aware of what needs to be done in a farm, then please skip to the relevant part in the description below. And yeah, guys, let's get straight into it. Right, guys, there's a couple of things we need. We need a compost bin to make fertilizer. We need some foundations, which we're going to place our crop plot on. We're going to need a lot of pipes connecting to a water source, which is probably going to be the river. And then finally, we need to find some seeds, which we're going to plant in the crop plots. Let's get straight into it. All right, guys, we finally got some resources that we can use to build our compost bin to start off with. So let's search for a compost bin under crafting. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make two. So we'll let them finish up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place them over here and then hopefully we're going to fill them up too. So let's go into my inventory. Let's go place ourselves a compost bin over here somewhere. So let's put it right here in the middle. Easy access. Let's do that there and there. I'll probably get a fair few flies gathering around and stuff. So what we need to do is we need to start filling this compost bin up with poo. And luckily our parasol over here, Isaac has got some feces here which is medium animal feces now i think we need three lots of feces to uh produce our first batch of fertilizer so what we can do is we can just jump on our trike or whichever dinosaur that we need to jump on and just press the plus key and hopefully we can go ahead and poo so it doesn't need to poo yet so let's jump on to the uh pteranodon let's try and poo okay he doesn't need to poo so let's go over to our dodos. Oh no, our dodos escaped. Let's go put this over here. And uh, let's see if we can get these guys to poo. Hopefully we can. They need to start eating of quite a fair bit to be fair. So I actually made myself a little dodo pen as well to keep my dodos contained. I thought I'm wandering but I could easily turn them off. I think I might actually do that right now. So if we go to this one over here, behavior, disable wandering. And then what we can do is just go to behavior again and then copy this over to the rest of the uh, dodo so they don't move from the location or jump over. And yeah, we're going to just uh, try again and let's see if our dinosaurs do want to poo. I don't think they do, but we can try it. And if you can't get them to poo fast enough, there is another thing you can do which is... You can come and bring your trike over here and go ahead and start collecting some stuff and you see the stim berries on the left you can actually go ahead and force feed them I don't always recommend this because it can starve them too but if you have enough berries then it's not too much of a problem and this should in theory make them defecate a lot faster so there we go he's defecating all of a sudden so I'm gonna put this over here and we also need to get some water for ourselves as well. So I'm hoping that you'll have a bit more poo uh, if we can do that. And then I believe we also need to put thatch down for the fertilizer to be made. So we can do that while we are waiting for the poo to come out. Uh, let's put our thatch in. And then jump on this guy again. And then push plus. And hopefully the poo's come out. And it has. There we go. So it decomposes in literally a minute. So let's just get this down over here. And we're going to do the same again. And we're going to rinse and repeat until we get enough poo to fill up these compost bins. And then we'll continue on to the next part. Also guys, it's probably worth mentioning that you can actually use small feces as well as human feces to use as fertilizer. But I would recommend against it. So you can just press the plus key, pick your own poo up, and just transfer your poo over into the compost bin. And I think it takes around 50 minutes for the fertilizer to be made. So we'll just move on to the next step. After many poos later, I want to carry on with the next part. Well, first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and put some points in after obtaining those levels. So we're gonna put some points into fortitude. I want to take that up to at least 20, and that's given us some more Engram points. 
And now what I want to do is I've made four foundations and I want to place them quite evenly spaced down the bottom over here near the water source so it should be a lot easier and then what we can do is we can go ahead and place ourselves a crop plot so I'm going to make one for starters so if we go ahead and make one and then hopefully I can place it right here on top of this foundation right there and then I'm going to do the same with the others so I'll be back once I've gathered all the resources also, we're under attack right now. Somewhere. Oh, it's that silly bird, isn't it? Right, we're going to have to fight this bird, guys. Fight it. Go. Go get him. Go on, Aegis. You got this. Show me that Age of Empires power. Okay, maybe not. It's just backed off. But we've got some more poop as well, guys. Let's see how our comp compost bin is getting on. Uh, we are currently full right now. Not a problem. So, yeah, guys, I'll be back once I've got the other crop plots down. So it does cost us quite a bit of resources to make a plot. Let's have a look. So fibre, stone, thatch, and a lot of wood. So, yeah, guys, I'll be right back. We've placed our four foundations. We've got our four crop plots. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, but I've made a little small gap because this is where we're going to be placing our irrigation system to go ahead and water our crop plots. There still seems to be another attack going on. Come on, Aegis, take care of him. Why haven't you killed him yet? So while that goes on, which don't come over here, please. Um, we are going to go finishing this off. And what I want to do is I want to go towards the irrigation system. And I want to get myself a tap. So this is the tap here. And then this is the pipe. So we're probably going to need this as well. We're going to need a straight one. Uh, and we're going to need an incline and we're going to need an intake as well. So let's take a get a few of these and let's start with placing this tap first. Okay, we can't place the tap just yet, but what we can do is uh, oh, it's getting a bit dark as well, but not to worry guys. We've got a little bit of a cheat. Let's uh, increase the gamma. Aegis is still fighting that guy. Nice. He's killed him. Awesome. Probably scrape some of that meat together to be fair, but you know what? We'll leave that for now. So what we can do is we can just place one of these pipes straight pipes over here directly onto this if I can just angle this right let's have a look um, say about here yep and then what we can do is we can just get the tap place it on the end over there and then follow these pipes through all the way to the water Uh, we'll make a few more pipes, so let's search for irrigation. So it's a straight pipe. Let's make about Yeah, let's make about six more. We might need some more stone, but we can get there. And this in theory should be able to get us what exactly what we need. So let's go for a straight pipe. All the way towards the water. Let's keep placing these. One, two more, maybe quite a few more to be fair. So let's go for a uh, one more there. And it's getting a bit high now, but what you can do is you can use this uh, vertical pipe too, actually. So if we go here, and then the vertical one should make it a bit more smoother. So where's the vertical pipe gone? There we go. And then we can put another straight pipe over here. I've actually run out of uh, stone to use, but what I can do is I can quickly go ahead and... Uh, just get some stone from here. So remember guys that the uh, hatchet actually gets us more stone. Now the reason why I've gone with stone is because it's a lot easier than uh, actually making uh, metal ones. You can't, oop, I didn't mean to do that. It was meant to be a straight one. Let's cut, clear that off. Let's go ahead and make this straight pipe. I've made too many. I'm being a bit eager right now. Let's craft about four. We want enough to get us to the water. So let's start placing this as well. Get our pipes in. And the beauty is all it costs is stone. So it's a lot easier than um, other stuff. So let's go ahead and place this. Can we reach this? No, we can't. So what we can do is we can go for another vertical one, hopefully. And this should do nicely. 
So yeah, it just depends on how far you are from the water now. Obviously, I'm going to make it a lot neater, but for now, let's get the basics going. Let's place the basic one there. And then last but not least, our intake should just attach onto the end over here. If it doesn't, you might just need to rejig it a bit. So let's put a straight one down. Maybe one more, actually. Let's pick this up. And place a straight pipe. Then a vertical one. And in theory, that should be okay. There we go. So our intake pipe is now placed, and that's where the water is going to be coming from. And then we've got kind of like a strange pipe going here, but that should be everything that we need. Now, if we've done this properly, if you come over here, you'll see that 600 out of 600 is irrigated. And that's also irrigated too, 600 out of 600. And that one is also, and last but not least, that one is also too. So what you can do actually is you can actually go ahead and put more foundations here. So for argument's sake, if I've got enough wood, I can probably show you that. So let's go foundation. Yeah, so I'll make one foundation. So if you need to make more plots, if you need to make more farms. You can just go ahead and place yourself a foundation here and then another three over there and then just carry on placing your plots down if you want to make it bigger but i think we're going to do for now so we've got an irrigated plot so what do we need last guys some poo so let's go check up on what we need so we actually haven't made any poo yet it takes quite a while so we're gonna to have to come back to this but there's something else we can be doing in the meantime while that goes on so let's move on so guys, it's early morning, the sun's coming up, after a little nap, we are ready to get the next part going. So, we need some seeds to put in this plot. Now, what I would recommend guys is, rather than the normal berries that you can get in the bushes, what you can do is, you can use your trike to go and farm some special types of seeds. So you can go for some citron seeds, long grass seeds, rock carrot seeds, and last but not least, the savarats. Now, it's pretty easy to get hold of these seeds. What you can do is use your trike to go ahead and just start taking down these plants. And hopefully, when you check the inventory of the trike, you should see the seeds available. Now, if you've got a preserving bin, like in the previous episodes, you can actually go ahead and... Uh, use the seeds that you've been collecting and storing in there so the trike is actually quite tired right now so what i can do is i can just go ahead and uh go for the stuff again so like i said guys so we've got the long grass seed here we've got the citronal seed we've got the savarat and then last but not least we need a rock carrot which i don't think we've got yes we do there we go guys rock carrot seeds and yeah, let's bring this trike back to base and then what we can do is we can go ahead and put these seeds into our preserving bin, uh, which is basically our fridge. And then we can just rinse and repeat and go ahead and collect uh, as much as we can. So we've got like five, five, two, four. Now it's actually good to have as many as possible. So I'm going to be right back once I've got all the seeds. Let's just shut this door. If you don't mind, you can stay open. There's nothing in there of value anyway. So yeah, guys, I'll be back once I've got more than enough seeds. So guys, after waiting for a bit, we've finally got to a point where we are ready to continue. So we've got ourselves some fertilizer that took bloody ages. It took like over an hour, I swear, but it depends entirely on server rates now what we can do is we can just go ahead and grab this fertilizer and deposit the f fertilizer into the soil now we haven't got enough fertilizer to cover the rest of the plots not to worry what we can do is we can actually go ahead and oh, I just saw some poo here we can go ahead and make our um, dinosaurs poop and then we can pick this poo up so the feces here, pick that up. We could probably do the same with the parasaur. Okay, the parasaur's not just ready to defecate quite just yet. 
See if the dodos have got any uh, poo for us to take. Let's have a look quickly. Nope. Yep. There's one little poo over there. If I can just pick it up. Let's pick it up with F. Okay, we've only got one lot of uh, small feces. Uh, and I'm just floating in midair right now and I'm stuck. Right, let's throw this dono, din, a dodo over there. Sorry, I'm thinking of uh, dodo and dino there, amalgamating the two. And then last but not least, what we can do is we can just poo ourselves as well. And this, in theory, should work. Now, we actually do need some food as well. So let's just go ahead and pick this berries and then eat a few. I've actually got quite a bit of meat on me, which I could have used to cook. Uh, careful not to eat the feces. So all we need to do is... Uh, access the inventory, transfer feces in there, uh, and then access the inventory. I don't, I don't want to do it all at once, you see. Uh, and then last but not least, we can put the human feces in that one. So we've got a fertilizer in that. And then we've got medium uh, animal feces here. And then we've got small animal feces, and then we've got human animal feces. Now, this will actually work the same as fertilizer, but obviously it will be a lot slower. And now, last but not least, guys, all we need is to get our seeds out that we're going to be planting. Now, obviously, it's the four that we mentioned earlier. So it's going to be, firstly, the citronal seed, then the long grass seed, then the sava root seed, and then the rock carrot seed. Let's hope we've got enough. So we've got the fertilizer in. We've got everything else in, too. The uh, plot is actually uh, being watered too. So let's go ahead and add the citronal seed. And last but not least, we can go ahead and add long grass. Thirdly, we can go ahead and add the sava root. And last but not least, again, is the rock carrot seed. And that's it, guys. All we do, all we have to do now is just wait and see how long it's going to take. Now. Obviously, as you can see, there's some uh, options here. Now, this is obviously a basic guide to making a farm. I know it says greenhouse effect there, but we actually haven't got a greenhouse just yet. It's too early on in the game. But it's irrigated. It's seedling. It's seeding as well. That means it's growing. Um, and that depends entirely on how long it's going to take. So all we need to do is just collect the fertilizer, collect the feces, keep it topped up. Um, and yeah, we'll have a quick look at the compost bin over here. Nothing in that one. We've got one fertilizer here, cool. So in the meantime, I'll keep these uh, bins topped up. Let's put some fertilizer in that one. Maybe I should have taken it out and put it in the other one actually, where the human poo is, because that's probably the least amount. Now obviously the fertilizer is 54,903. Uh, on this one it's 3,401 and 7,373 on this one and then last but not least nearly 54,000 on this one so it will decrease slowly okay guys while we wait for our plants to grow I've uh, gone and used Aegis over here to catch us three more Carbonimus and now guys it's for the fun part move out of the way what we're going to be doing is we're going to be picking three names out of the hat as we have been doing in the previous episodes. If you haven't seen yet, go check them out. So it's gonna be three names at random, guys. And we're gonna be naming these Carbonimuses after three of you lovely people. So the first one is Archimus. Oh yeah, guys, Archimus. So I'm gonna go ahead and name the Carbonimus. Uh, I can name it somewhere over here. Options, change name. The first one. Archimus. So I see that's uh, by one of the comments on YouTube. Now, the second one, we're going to name at random. What's this one going to show? And it's. Drum roll, please. Gaia by Junich. Oh, yeah, guys, Gaia. So let's go do that over here on uh, the second one. And all we have to do is go to options, change name. I hope I'm saying that right. Gaia. Gaia, I think. And then last but not least, guys, we're going to be naming the next dino. 
what's this one going to be? Do a small piece of paper. Let's have a look. And it's going to be Muta, guys. Muta. So shout out to Muta for dropping that comment as well. So there we have it, guys. We've got three more names on this episode. And let's have a look and see. Muta. There you go. Let's have a look and see how far along our plants have come. So the plants have actually taken a while. I don't know why I'm just floating in the air right now. But the fertilizer is going down, so something's working. And this isn't ready quite just yet. Now there is this one. The fertilizer is low. We can probably have a look and see. Oh, there we go. I think it says 1 out of 10, but I don't think that's... Let's have a look over here. Fertilizer's in there. Seedlings in there. Seedlings in all of them. I don't think anything's gone wrong just yet. We're going to have a quick look. We've got another fertilizer over here. Nice. Can we get any more poop? Let's have a look. Nope. You're not ready to defecate. Now, there's a couple of things we can do here. We could actually move up the way. We could actually go ahead and get ourselves a dung beetle. Now, a dung beetle would actually get us more fertilizer, in case you guys are wondering. And I think all you do is just feed it poop and then it will just give you like a, a load more good juice. However, pro players will know why I've done this, why I've stacked up on some carbonimuses. Now, all will be told in the next episode. So, another good feature I didn't really suggest was what you can do is you can actually go ahead and drink water from these taps. I said water. Yes, I did. Because I'm British. And you can also fill up your water skins as well. So, yeah, guys. So, this will just keep growing and growing and growing. And what we can actually go ahead and just do is just stick some of this fertilizer in there to make it a bit more smoother. There'll be more than uh, enough then, and it can work overnight while you're offline. And, uh, yeah, guys, that's about it. So, obviously, uh, it depends on server rates and how fast your plants will grow. Now, you can plant anything. And the reason why I've chosen these four in particular, the citron or long grass, rock carrot, and the savarat, is because you can't actually get them from the uh, bushes over here. However, you can get, like, the narco berries or the major berries or the uh, stim berries. You can get all these from the uh, uh, plants over here. Obviously you can't get your uh, these select four. Now obviously if you do want to increase the uh, output of uh, the seeds, all we need to do is just go ahead and uh, place a few more foundations, place a few more crop plots. Bish bash bosh, you've got your own farm. Now, this is actually a beginner farm so later on in the series we will go ahead and get ourselves a greenhouse as well increase that greenhouse effect and yeah guys thank you so much to everyone who tuned in not really much else to add uh but yeah guys if you uh liked what you see remember to give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel also comment down below and let me know what name you'd like to be used for the next dinosaur and that is it guys so thank you for tuning in and hopefully i'll see you soon peace